The testimony before the Senate Budget Committee came as a surprise as Secretary of Defense Weinberger announced the Titan II missile system would be retired. Weinberger had given similar testimony before the Senate yesterday but made no mention of the Titans. The Defense Secretary would offer no details on the timetable for the phase-out but said it would reduce spending by over $13 billion during the next three years. Tonight, spokesmen at the Pentagon's Strategic Air Command headquarters in Omaha and also at the Little Rock Air Force Base all said they had no information other than what reporters had provided. On June 22, 1960, the Air Force announced that Arkansas would be the site for 18 Titan II intercontinental ballistic missiles. The sites were built in north-central Arkansas at a cost of $80 million. Construction started at the end of 1960. The first missile was installed at Searcy, February 6, 1963. On August 9, 1965, tragedy struck Missile Silo 373-4 at Searcy. That was when a fire in the silo killed 53 civilian workers. They were making modifications to the silo when a ruptured hydraulic line was ignited by sparks from a welder's torch. Most of the workers suffocated. In January 1978, oxidizer began leaking at Missile Silo 374-7 near Damascus. The community was evacuated. Then in September of last year, the same missile complex exploded when a socket wrench was dropped and pierced the thin skin of the rocket causing fuel to leak. The explosion killed one airman and injured 21 others. The Titan II is the nation's largest ballistic missile system. Military observers believe retirement of the system might take several months, if not years. Greg Hurst, New Saint 7.